It's a singularly unimportant event in the history of television. Uh, Miss Barrett and myself on The Tomorrow Show. In 1980, Johnny Carson renegotiated his contract with NBC, shortening The Tonight Show to 60 minutes from the 90-minute behemoth it had been since the beginning. We went on 11.15 to 1 o'clock, hour and 45 minutes for about two years. Then we got to an hour and a half, and we did that for almost 17 years. Tom Snyder's Tomorrow program was forced to pick up the extra half hour of airtime. How's the new show, the new Tomorrow Show? Uh, it's long. 90 minutes is a long time. Yes to sit in a television studio with people who are sitting in seats such as these people are here. Johnny Carson had long harbored a serious dislike for Snyder, based on nothing but his performances on TV. Once at a nightclub, he even lunged across the table and grabbed for Snyder's throat before Johnny's lawyer Henry Bushkin and Ed McMahon could separate the two. You have to wonder if Johnny got a certain enjoyment out of seeing Tom saddled with the longer runtime and other changes that NBC forced on him. I'd like to know if uh, you miss your old format of your show. Uh, when you didn't have an audience, and I thought it was much more intimate. To put a studio audience on a show at 1.30 in the morning is criminal. Tomorrow's executive producer Roger Ailes' plan was to build up a following with slotting of regular features and regular positions on the show when viewers can expect to see them. A messy attempt to make it into a talk variety show. Snyder charged NBC had wrecked Tomorrow with a sweeping makeover that fluffed it up with elements like a Rona Barrett gossip segment. Rona Barrett had started out as a newspaper and magazine gossip columnist who moved to TV and made a name for herself doing in-depth celebrity interviews. Have you ever found that you have lost control? Well, I was doing this character, uh, Reverend Ernest Lee Sincere, and I was healing people. <laughs> I, I almost decked this one kid. I was going, I'm prepared to be healed. Come forward. And I took this book and, and he started saying something. And he just went, the good book upside the head. <laughs> and he went... <laughs> The same year that Tomorrow was being retooled, there will be some subtle changes as the Tomorrow Show emerges from its cocoon. Rona was lured from ABC's Good Morning America to rival NBC's Today Show. I'll be joining Tom Brokaw and Jane Pauley with my special news reports on the entertainment industry. But the network had more in mind for her. I did a very good job for the Today Show because they were failing in their ratings. And w when I went on uh, the Today Show, their ratings started to go up again. They also offered me, when I went to NBC, a whole series of programming that I didn't have the opportunity to do at ABC. And it didn't turn out to be what I thought it was going to be. Uh, with Tom Snyder. Rona was placed on tomorrow as a Hollywood entertainment reporter. Now let me ask you about Rona Barrett. How do you get along with Rona Barrett? I get along with her real well. She's coming on to be your West Coast anchor, anchor. right? Yeah. Correspondent on the 27th of yeah. October. Notice how quickly Snyder corrects Letterman. She's not an anchor, but a correspondent. Well. She's coming on to be your West Coast anchor, anchor. right? Yeah. Correspondent. From day one, it, it was almost a disaster from uh, my first interview was with Mary Tyler Moore who had given me this interview right after her son had committed suicide. And I had snuck into New York City to do the interview with Mary, and Tom got upset because I was only supposed to be coming from Hollywood and not from New York City. It just started a whole big Megillah. Miss Barrett walked off the program when Snyder declined to throw it to Rona, as they say in the TV biz, out on the coast for her spot. The controversy was settled, and Rona returned with the show renamed Tomorrow Coast to Coast. Stay up late and catch the stars on NBC. First, it's TV's greatest, Johnny Carson and The Tonight Show. Then it's Tom and Rona on Tomorrow Coast to Coast on NBC. There was absolutely no positive chemistry between Snyder and Barrett. Snyder and Barrett together was one shrieking peacock too many, even for the Peacock Network. Snyder felt we were a successful show right up until then. We could could have gone on forever, like Ted Koppel of ABC's Nightline. But according to Barrett, when the ratings started to go up, he got so jealous. I don't know that he was on hard drugs, but he was a big drinker, and he said some terrible, terrible things. Fire up a color teeny. Since her return to the show, Barrett said her portions of the program have been relegated to the final half hour of the 90-minute Tomorrow Show. No matter who I got as a guest, no matter how important, they never put me first up, she said. I even had Billy Graham as a guest, and we didn't get the top spot. For whatsoever a man soweth, that Shelley also reap. It really had a lot to do with being a woman and Tom being part of the old boys network. We're all pals, we're all friends. Roger Ailes said, Rona feels she has paid her dues and that she should have her own show. Barrett had threatened to leave the show more than once because she felt Snyder was hogging the airtime. It, it turned into something that was really not nice, not good. And um, I, I just decided I had to end, end this.
Rona Barrett's long, smoldering feud with Tom Snyder, her co-host on NBC's Tomorrow, exploded when The Hollywood Reporter quit the show, stomping off Tomorrow Coast to Coast because she didn't like playing second fiddle to Tom Snyder's first tuba. Recently asked if Miss Rona or Mr. Tom was more responsible for the breakup, an NBC executive responded, that's like asking if you'd rather die of a heart attack or cancer. According to Rona, it's never turned into what I thought it was going to be or what my contract stated. Snyder added that he was equally annoyed at himself for tolerating it. It was a terrible mistake for all of us. I shouldn't have gone along with it, but I did. To bring this full circle, Johnny Carson only had Rona Barrett on The Tonight Show as a guest twice in all of its history. Once was a week after she started as host of Tomorrow, and the second time was a month after she quit Tomorrow. Johnny asked Rona about her feud with Snyder, and Rona responded with no comment. If she'd had a comment, basically it would be an analytical one, as opposed to just saying that Tom Snyder is a son of a bitch. I don't feel that way about Tom Snyder. I have lots of feelings about Tom Snyder. Some of them are very sad feelings. Still, she couldn't help but get one final dig at Snyder's declining ratings. Well, it's no secret, we all read the Nielsen rating books. Maybe Tom's tired. Maybe Tom's burned out. I won't comment on that. I haven't from the time it happened, and it will go. It's not really worth talking about. It counts for Zippo in the history of television. But no comment is a comment in and of itself. Of course it is. I mean, you know, she's been everywhere with it. She's gotten a lot of, a lot of mileage from it. But I don't need that kind of mileage. did you hear? I have my own prime time series. Our viewers are dying to know what washed up talk show host is wasting away in a cheap hotel living on olive loaf. All right, Miss Rona, you're short, you have a speech impediment, and you bleach your hair. Now what the hell you think of that, huh? <laughs>